Sunday. This Sunday's December 3rd, and go wish people a happy new year. Now, if you haven't heard this from me before or heard it in church, you're going, what are you talking about? It's not New Year's. But for the Christian, for the Christian wants, who likes to follow the church year, which I do. I didn't know about this growing up in the church in the Baptist world, but I learned about it. This exciting time, this Christian calendar, this new year. And it begins with a season of Advent. Advent is a time of preparation, expectation, anticipation. It's a time of preparing, not only for Jesus' birth, which we'll talk about down the road, but we prepare for his coming again. First time Jesus came, he came as a baby born in a manger. He will come again. Oh, Jesus, let it be so. And when he comes again, he's going to be coming as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. This is something that was prophesied long before Jesus was born by many of the prophets. I like the prophet Jeremiah because Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 33, 14 through 16, here are the words of the prophet long before Jesus, the baby Jesus was born. The prophet says, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will fulfill the gracious promise I made to the house of Israel and to the house of Judah. In those days and at that time, I'll make a righteous branch sprout from David's line. He's talking about the birth of Jesus. He will do what is just and right in the land. In those days, Judah will be saved and Jerusalem will live in safety. Now, we have to ask, is Jerusalem um, uh, living in safety? Is Judah saved? Can't say it is. But now maybe... The prophecy is about when he comes again. And when Jesus comes again, and it could come at any time, oh, come today, Lord, um, then then we will be saved. We'll live in safety. <laughs> Guy, Jerusalem will be saved, and, Jerus and Judah will be in safety. In those days, that will happen. This is by which the name will be called the Lord our righteousness. Great theme. Read that over again. Read that again and again. That's that's one of the verses you can read as we light the candle of hope. And it's an assurance, not wishful thinking. I like songs we can even sing during Advent. I want to read to you the words of a song um, that I did not grow up singing in the Baptist church. Later on, I learned that it's an old song. And it's let me give you the words, and I'm tempted to sing it. Well, we'll see what happens. But... Um, the song is called, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Mm. Listen to the words. O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appears. And the chorus goes, Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, thou day spring, come and cheer our spirits by thy advent here. Disperse the clouds of gloom and night, and death's dark shadows put to flight. Rejoice, 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 O Emmanuel, shall come to thee, shall come to thee, O Israel. O come thou wisdom from on high, and order all things far and nigh, to us the path of knowledge shown, and cause us in her ways to know. Rejoice. Rejoice, O Joyce Emmanuel, shall come to thee, shall come to thee, shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, desire of nations, bind, we desire this, and cause us in our hearts to know all people in one heart and mind. Bid envy, strife, and quarrel cease, fill all the world with heaven's peace. And it will come someday. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Well, this Sunday, Happy New Year, followers of Jesus. We begin by rejoicing.